Welcome to another episode of the Plant-Based Jan Adventure Series. It's easy to eat healthy at home. I'm here to show you can be done on the road too. Today we are in the Colorado National Monument and we are cruising the Rim Rock Drive. If you are anywhere near Western Colorado, you've got to put this National Monument on your itinerary, make it part of your trip. It's about a two and a half hour drive south of Dinosaur National Monument, which is another fantastic park that seems to be off the radar a little bit. I've got a video coming out on that. If you want to subscribe, you'll know when that's out. It's also about two hours east of the entire Arches, Canyonlands National Park, and the Moab area. So just a, all in all, a spectacular area for this geographical fantasy land. Here's a sign for bighorn sheep for the next 23 miles. So you can see these anywhere on the drive is what it's saying. And you're kidding me. Half a mile later from the sign, we see a couple of bighorn sheep, but these are smaller. I think these are younger. The drive takes you along canyons that are as deep as 500 feet and in those canyons you'll see all kinds of rock monoliths. Some are as tall as 450 feet, which if it was a building would be well over 30 stories, much taller than the Statue of Liberty for example. There are three tunnels that are bored straight through the rock. And the construction of this amazing drive began in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. The final completion was done in the 1950s. Many people say they've never heard of this monument. The Colorado National Monument really has something to offer for everyone. You get this beautiful, easy 23 miles of epic scenery. It's perfect pavement. There's plenty of pullouts and overlooks. And I should mention for all physical abilities, it, the views are really accessible, which is not always the case in some of the national parks and monuments. And the bonuses are the wildlife sightings. As you can see, we. We just were driving, maybe it was our lucky day, see a couple of bighorn sheep just right away. We also saw a scary but small little snake on one of the overlooks here. If anyone knows what that is, let me know in the comments. This 23 miles is really a fantastic drive. I can see why they call it, a lot of people call it one of the most scenic drives in the United States. It's subjective, of course, but there's definitely places where it makes it top of the list. This American West top scenic drive is in the United States in the western part of Colorado. From the Colorado River, Rimrock Drive rises about 2,000 feet and then traces the edge of the rim of the Colorado Plateau and it does this for 23 miles. As you can see, there are many viewpoints, trailheads, and features that you can stop off along the way. The whole park is just part of the greater Colorado Plateau. 
The actual road of Rimrock Drive connects the two towns of Fruta and also Grand Junction, Colorado. There's lots of great hikes for all skill levels and time frames. There's around 25 trails here, over 43 miles to get into many of the different landscapes and features. We started up a few just to check them out. The first one was a couple miles up. It was the Black Ridge Trail and we wanted to get a good panoramic view of the road below. We could see the visitor center. You can see Fruta out in the distance. You can see Grand Junction. So it just had some epic views. We just wanted to get out and uh, get some exercise before we embarked on the entire drive. This was a good hike to get up really high and see more of an aerial type of view of the drive that we're going to go down to. We just came from the town of Fruta. So just to kind of give you some perspective. We are going to pull into the visitor center real quick. It's right next to the book cliff view, which are these huge monoliths and is also next to the Saddlehorn campground. The visitor centers are so cool because if you have any questions whatsoever, just want to get the lay of the park, the rangers, the employees are always so helpful if it's not too busy. Um, typically there's some kind of 3D uh, display like there is here. You could push the little buttons and the road lights up so you can see where you're driving. You can also see some other formations and features. So we'll just check out this visitor center real quick and be on our way. Look at this October weather. I'm from the Seattle area and it's true. We get a lot of rain and gray days. Here, there are 275 days of sunshine annually. In fact, it was named one of the eight sunniest cities in the United States by Tourism Review. This park was really put on the map by a man named John Otto. He first saw the park in, or what would be known as the park in 1906. And he spent the next 20 years living there alone and promoting it. He did a tremendous amount of manual labor while he was there and living in the canyons. He used a pick and a shovel to carve out trails and give people more access to the park. He really lived for it. He didn't seek any wealth or recognition except for his beloved park that he really wanted to become a national park. It just, um, it got to national monument status, but not national park status, which some people don't agree with now. And he, um, he died with just $44 in cash and $100 of war bonds to his name, but we now have the Colorado National Monument due in big part to his efforts. There's 14 different trails that you can take off of Rimrock Drive and they range from like just a quarter of a mile to many miles if you do connectors. All sorts of trails. This one, 0.25 miles, pretty flat. in here is just incredible how they built this road into the cliffs on the top of the cliffs you can see like as you enter three of the tunnels and if as you look around at how nice and smooth this road is that they really did a lot of um, excavation a lot of drilling a lot of um, you know just working with this rock and what's fascinating and just unbelievable is most of that was manual labor that started in the 1930s they really did such a good job with all of these little pullouts for the views most of them have plenty of parking we'll go check out half tunnel exhibit 
Oh no. Reading this is a reminder of the considerable cost of carving Rimrock Drive to provide the access that we have today. They were blasting the tunnel and it collapsed when they went in to check their progress. We're pausing and remembering these men and then we'll continue to look around this area. Here's a sheer drop off right where we are standing. We are standing at the Coke Ovens Overlook and just as a reminder of the dangers, a couple in September of this year drove off of this area. <coughs> and that was according to the Park Service information. The rock layers here are 2 billion years old. That's about half of the age of the earth. The half tunnel tragedy and the construction of the Colorado National Monument shows that nature is both beautiful and brutal. Many of the men that were working here in the 1930s needed a paycheck badly. They needed some relief from the poverty of the depression. The Civilian Conservation Corps, as well as local experienced men, used pickaxes, jackhammers, dynamite, shovels. And if you imagine this place a hundred years ago, super wild as they were building it, before the pristine road, the manicured trails, all the guardrails, it's just, it's just even more food for thought as you drive along the scenic route. You can see why they call this Artist Point. Look at this wall, for example. All of that desert varnish in many different color spectrums. Red Canyon. They're all red. That would have been a nice little valley to live in. Beautiful. We are on Serpent's Trail now, getting some really good views as the sun starts to go down. Look at that. This is a great trail. easy to eat healthy at home I'm here to show you can be done on the road too for lunch today basically a kitchen sink salad starting with the salad kit and I would name all the fruits and vegetables in here apples kale spinach uh, red onions but this is only I'm trying to keep this video short so it's just a kitchen sink salad very good we also have some roasted red pepper hummus and some vegetables I'm passionate about plant-based foods. I'm showing you some shots of some of my favorites. I love creating and cooking, but they have to be over the top, delicious, nourishing, and mostly easy. Rainbow salads, comforting soups, crispy wraps, cheesy breakfasts. There's never been a better time to check into it. There's so much research out there. There's so many people that are doing plant-based and can show you some easy tips. And I'm always asked, is it more prep? Not really. I always say I'd rather spend more time in my kitchen than standing in line for prescription or procedures. Just, it's all interconnected once you start checking into it. Speaking of good health and energy, we saw quite a few bikers too. It's a popular route. 
ColoradoBicycleRide.com calls it a five-star ride, quote-unquote, a must-ride, made famous by the Coors Classic. I think that was in the 80s. It's also a perfect route for motorcycles. We saw all types of motorcycles as well. And a couple of exotic, low-clearance sports cars. was an epic drive. Thanks so much for coming along. And if you want to subscribe, that would sure be appreciated. And that way you'll know where we're off to next.